Mr. Turner, I just want to follow up on the Vice Mayor's uh, question. I understand that there's been some confusion about whether the information was uh, public uh, uh, or not. Um, my understanding was that uh, individual uh, respondents were not identified uh, in any note system or record system. The content that they raised, such as this could be improved or that is doing okay, that was part of the report, but not, uh, there was no personal identification by Dr. Ritzy of any uh, comments by individuals. Is that correct? Yes, sir, and, and I've certainly heard a number of rumors about surveys and that sort of thing. That was not done. It's my understanding that Dr. Ritzy had uh, individual meetings with whoever would sign up and was willing to come to uh, talk with him, and he did. Uh, uh, I, sus I don't know this for a fact, but I suspect knowing him, he uh, probably did some uh, notes, generic notes, and that's what he took to make his uh, final report. So it, he probably had some working notes and used that to make his final report, but there was not any surveys. There weren't individual interview uh, uh, notes that were Sorry. done. That's John right. Patton. If you want to finish it up for me, you can. John Patton, VeniceFlorida.com. Rather than bring any new material to this, I'd just like to uh, rebut and explain some of the information that was given to you, um, some that uh, I have some differences with. Um, with regards to the confidentiality of the Ritzy report, I have sent to all of you via email, uh, portions of an email, excuse me, portions of an email from the department itself where the department informed all of the employees that anything they said would not be confidential. Um, that was from Dave Dunaway on uh, email dated November 13th, 2009. That should be in all of your inboxes. Um, quote, I'm, this is just part of it. I misspoke and must, er, must correct my statement. Dr. Ritzy will take notes during all of our meetings with him. Those notes are public records, so they cannot be kept confidential, quote, unquote. From uh, uh, the minutes of the FOP meeting that Mr. Uh, uh, that, that Mr. Turner attended, uh, quote, Turner stated that he felt Chief Williams was doing a great job running the department. Turner stated everything discussed with Ritzy was public record. Um, Turner was asked about implementing suggestions from Ritzy and stated that he would not force the chief to make changes unless she wanted to give her full discretion. I have received word from four, no, three other officers who were at that FOP meeting who have validated that, that the officers were told that what they said would not be confidential. Now, we have a history here, and most of these officers know it. Mr. Mr. Uh, Turner would not have, um, and that is the utilities investigation of a few years back, where everybody's notes were made public record after um, Judge Becky Titus ordered it to be so, and so every single employee in the utilities department was able to read what every other utilities department employee and supervisor had said about them. Um, it caused a bit of an internal civil war. Um, it is my understanding that seven patrol officers, only seven, um, spoke with Mr. Ritzy. Of those, all of them, all of them gave her uh, um, good compliments. That leaves three quarters of the patrol who did not speak to Ritzy, who would, re who would have refused. Um, Ritzy, and if you talk to any professor of social science and social science statistics, they'll tell you that that is not a statistically significant sample. Um, on sci just on statistical grounds, you cannot qualify uh, what Ritzy said, except that some employees are very happy. Uh, when it comes to Tyler Spann, the death of Tyler Spann and what happened with the Venice Police Department, um, the Venice Police signed off and gave it to the Sheriff's Office. I'm not convinced that that was a good idea. I'm not convinced, uh, though, that, uh, that based on what uh, Williams has said, that the uh, police department should have investigated it either. The problem here is the sheriff's department is investigating its own agency, and it's a setup to fail. No matter which way they would have ruled or determined in their uh, investigation, they were going to lose. Either they were going to be covering for the officer, or they were going to be nailing the officer to cover their own butts. Whichever way it went, they were going to receive criticism, and it doesn't help that the lead internal investigator uh, was on uh, Deputy Verdoni's Facebook page as a friend. Now, the uh, uh, spokesman for the sheriff's office said that that was not 
relevant. Um, I know of cases where judges have had to uh, vacate rulings because of attorneys um, that operate in their courtroom and they're on each other's Facebook pages. That's come up in Wired, on Wired Magazine quite a few times. Um, Laurel Road, I'm moving along quickly. Just prior to the May 1st incident, uh, a young woman was threatened by the individuals who were in there and had her life threatened. She filed a probable cause affidavit with the sheriff's office too. That was in the days just prior to the May 1st incident. Uh, Chief Williams forgot to tell you about that. One of the individuals was arrested on May 2nd, and in his own statement, which has been made available, is public record. I have a copy of it. Um, the Herald Trib does. One of these, the subject, uh, uh, Joshua Graff, admits that there are drugs in the house, that they've been selling heroin and cocaine. That was reported in the Herald Tribune correctly. Um, I'm still unclear as to why a search warrant never came down to go after them based on uh, based on that admission, ignoring the problems that she has with, with uh, the witness that she claims would have been unbelievable. Um, she claims that no incidents uh, have happened since that May 1st at that address. Well, that's true. Um, but a week later, one of those individuals was up in Sarasota robbing a, uh, robbing a pharmacy at gunpoint when he could have been arrested just based on the information that was provided by Joshua Graff when he was arrested. And he's not the witness that she claims is, uh, has changed his story uh, back and forth. There's enough other problems going on. Oh, you asked about, uh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Carlissimo asked about, uh, let's You're take 30 same, seconds. The same 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Uh, Mr. Carlissimo asked about an individual who was supposedly doing uh, p private work on company time and said that had been taken care of. Uh, I heard about that rather recently too. I made a public records inquiry about it. There are no public records. Uh, according to Alan Bullock, back in March, uh, he made an inquiry about it and was told it's been handled. Why there's no paperwork on that particular incident when she seems to be gung-ho to internally investigate everybody else is problematic. To be continued. Thank you, sir. Alan McEwen. 